Hello all, welcome back to my channel. Today I am going to demonstrate how many liters of water we can collect using a rainwater harvesting system with just 25 mm of the rainfall. Also, I am going to discuss about how long the collected water is suffice for a family or a person. And uh, if you have not watched my previous video which talks about the rainwater harvesting system, also how to measure the rainfall, please go through them. I have provided the links in the description. So let's start. Yeah, let's see how meters to liters works. So liter is the specification for the volume and meter is the specification for the length. So one meter cube, like which involves one meter uh, width, one meter depth and one meter height. So it is a one meter cube. So it is equal to thousand liters. That's what the metric system says. So let's cross verify this. So let me open a calculator. So this the calculator, you go and uh, select the volume here. So already selected. So what I'll do is I'll take input as a cubic meter and output as a liters. I'll put one cubic meter here. Now you can see it is equal to thousand liters. Let's see a terrace uh, how it looks. So terrace is a two dimensional, right? Basically what we'll get is we will get width and we'll get the depth. So when you multiply depth with the width, we'll get the total area in square meter. Okay. Now next what you need is we need height. Rain will provide the third dimension that is height, right? So now we have everything to calculate the volume. We have width, we have depth and we have height as well. I am considering 25 millimeter of the rainfall. And uh, here, right, 2 mm will uh, go for the first rain separation and 2 mm will get evaporated. If terrace is hot, the two couple of millimeter of the rainfall will get evaporated. So let's consider 21 millimeter as a rainfall. And uh, I am considering 80% efficiency of the system yeah, let's go for the uh, final numbers now so uh, i have the uh, rainfall in converted into uh, meters so i know the um, area that is in uh, square meter so both are multiplied and we'll get the cubic meter so when you want to convert into volume so we, uh, we have just have to multiply with thousand so we'll get a final liters okay so our day-to-day uh, -day language, right? We generally familiar with the square feet. One square feet, square feet is equal to 0 0.0929 square meter. So let's consider a 850 square feet as a roof area and multiply with 0 0.0929, we'll get 78.96 meter square. So multiply again that with the rainfall. So we'll get 1.658 meter cube. So if you want to convert to liters, we have to multiply with 1000. So this is the number of liters. So or what we can do is now instead of going for multiple uh, multiplication or division. So we know the area 78.96 and directly multiply with the millimeter of the rainfall. So we will get the exact value as this. So let's uh, cross verify what are the uh, liters we are calculating here, right? Whether it is correct or not. So we'll open the calculator and see how it works. So we know the area in cubic meter, right? That is 1.65, right? So I'm what I'm going to type is I'll clear the previous value 1.658. So right, this is the liters of water what we have calculated. So our calculation is perfectly all right. I calculate the uh, rain collection for field also, but uh, in this case, you will get uh, um, calculation in millions of liters. So let's get a uh, few, uh, I mean, go through a few benefits. So let's uh, take uh, scenario one, where five member family each drinks three liters per day and uh, total consumption will be 15 liters per day. So in this case, 165 liter of uh, water is suffice for almost 
110 days. So we'll go to second example. So here, uh, according to uh, some study says, you one person needs uh, around 135 liters of water per day. But let's take uh, 200 liters per day as uh, for example. So in this case, so it's enough for more than eight days. So third one is, so you will see reduction in your uh, monthly water bill. And also fourth is like, uh, in, you will also see the uh, reduction in the power bill. So now we will know, know. So we can see the power of harvesting just 25 millimeters of the rainfall. Thanks for watching this video. I hope uh, the information is useful. If you like this video, click on the like button. Also, please subscribe to my channel. Then you are.